Well, it's not exactly soccer or lacrosse playing weather outside today. Soon, athletes of all ages, though, will have some new athletic fields for practicing in North Alabama, you know, when weather conditions improve. A little warmer, a little <laughs> yeah. drier. News 19's Emily Moser brings us the details into the new park being built near Grissom High. Well, the city of Huntsville is expanding opportunities for recreation in South Huntsville. It's going to be turning this section of land across from Grissom High School into Hayes Farm Sports Park. We recognize that there is a need for, you know, field space for, for multi-purpose activities, whether it's lacrosse or ultimate frisbee or soccer. Sports enthusiasts and local athletes will soon have two new lighted natural grass fields to play and practice on. Huntsville Parks and Recreation Director James Gossett it says as field sports continue to grow in popularity in the area, it's also important to grow access. They could be used for regular play or to host tournaments. When we design facilities, we design them in such a way that you can host events, uh, if it's a tournament, a competitive event, or you, the everyday citizen could, could have access to the fields. The park is tied into the greenway and will be easily accessible for people on foot or by bike. And if you're driving, not to worry, they're adding 120 parking spaces. And it's also accessible from a tunnel that connects the park to Grissom High School, making it safer for students who may use the park for school-related activities. Gossett said as the population in Huntsville is expected to grow, it's important to add things like parks that enhance the quality of life. Where are we going to be five years from now? And because uh, you don't want to get caught behind that because once you get behind that, it's, it's hard to get caught up. Now construction on the park is already underway and it is anticipated to be open just in time for spring sports season in 2024. Now the total estimated cost of the project is $2.4 million. Reporting in Huntsville, Emily Mosner, News 19. The Park and Rec Director also says progress on turf fields at John Hunt Park is moving along on schedule. The city is spending $3 million to enter Phase 3 on the Sandra Moon Community Complex that will offer recreation opportunities.